Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, All The Small. Today, I've got two, maybe three different things I want to show you guys. It's actually not the typical videos I do, but I thought, hey, it will be awesome to share the experience with you guys. Anyway, first thing first is I've got a new piece of beef, which is about 5 kg. Got it from Tom Hickson's of Smithfield, which is an online butcher, um, grass-fed, organic, free-ring beef. Um, and it's a big piece, so I need to dice it up into you know, about 400 grams worth of sirloin. Um, and then I'm gonna vac seal it. So I've also got a new vac sealer, which I'm gonna show you guys. And I've also got a new knife set, which I'm gonna show you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Before we jump into the next video, I would love to take this opportunity to shout out the video sponsor, Distributed. Distributed is a tech-enabled startup founded on the belief that businesses of the future will thrive without the need for technical development teams in-house. Using the distributed platform, clients can work with fully managed, globally distributed teams as easily as local teams, allowing you to build and maintain software faster, safer with more visibility than ever before. If you are in the market, follow the link in the description below and make your way over to the estimation page. Here you can submit useful project details, and in as little as five minutes, get a response back on next steps. Thank you. Let me start, I mean, I'm gonna try to make this as smooth as possible and as freestyle as possible. Um, I wanna cut this, take this bag off, wipe, um, kind of wipe down the, the beef. I've had it sitting out for about an hour right now. Um, then I wanna start dividing up, slicing it up into individual pieces. I'm gonna put those on the tray. Then I'm gonna get a new vac seal pack that I've just bought today. Uh, I'm gonna vac pack each piece and then hopefully that can allow me to preserve each one. Um, all of this meat is gonna go in videos that you guys are gonna be watching. The steakhouse series, just different stuff, comparisons, different marinades, different seasoning types. Um, and I also wanna show you guys my new knife set, which I actually got for Father's Day um, from the missus and the kids. But yeah, let's get on with it. Um, excited, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be doing this. This is going to be used just to help me weigh the first piece. I'm going to be putting a lot of tissues and stuff into here. I've already got a set there. Um, let's do it. Okay, so uh, maybe I bring this out for you guys to have a look. A little new knife set, you know. Um, push that out a little bit. Bring this out a little bit. Uh, I can show you quickly, actually. Um, she grabbed it from Costco. It's a seven piece set um, of some really awesome knives for steakhouse related stuff. So we're, gonna, we're about to step this stuff up. Let's do this. Anyway, um, as you can see, I'm unboxing tons of stuff to show you guys. Um, the knives that I'm expecting to use today um, will probably be, oh, look at the set. I don't know if you've got a good view there of the lineup and how it looks. Um, I'll try to bring this in a bit closer for you guys. Um, as you can see the lineup. I'll probably be using uh, most likely these two. So I'll be giving a review as I'm using this throughout my YouTube life. Okay, so as you see, first of all, I want to cut this bag off. Um, actually, I should have grabbed one of the other knives. I'll do that as well. All right, so you can see that. Let's zoom in a bit.
All right, guys, as you see, this is my Vax sealer. This blue thing is actually just a seal on top. I haven't taken that off. Um, the actual color under it is silver. Um, turquoise is just a protective film. Anyway, um, I've turned it on. Um, had a quick look and test on it just to see how it works. As you can see inside, there's a rolling fill bag already. Uh, idea is to get my meat, put the meat into the bag such that it fits well enough. Uh, I seal the end, turn it around, seal the other end. Um, so my guess would be first to get the meat inside and then to gauge how much space I need after I've done that. And I think the bags are a good width, to be honest. I don't want to do it long ways because I don't want to waste the, trying to not waste the, um, the bags. So I was hoping to do it width. Uh, let's get it in there and just see how it goes. In fact, the one way I can do it is I can seal the end, measure the length. So I'm guessing the length of my steaks could be about that long, as you see. So I can measure it in this way, seal it, seal one end, turn it around, seal the other end. Maybe that'll be the best thing to do. Let's give that a try. We want to seal. Oh, it's really quiet at the ceiling. Nice. Oh, nice, yeah. I don't know if you can see the little line there. Yeah. Actually, what I should have done as well after I did that is I should have actually cut it. So let me let me get that back connected to where it was, which was there. And then I still cut. Oh, that's a, that's a nice seal. I love that. All right, so if we're going for this length, I can try to get my meat in there now. Okay. Now this is what I was saying where I was like, maybe I didn't want to use too much of a, too much of a bag. Um, so in this case, we can somewhat near enough consider this a, a loss, if, we, if you may. But that's fine. That's fine. What we'll do is we will test the vac, the vacuum suction piece. Yeah, I think we can test the vacuum suction piece here. This one will end up being a very big bag. I'm going to seal it. I'm going to cut it a bit first just to be safe. Yeah, I'm going to cut it a bit. So it's a much smaller bag. And now, you have to make sure you get it really lined up well on the... So what I want to do, I want to um, vac and seal. Oh, that's nice. Sealing. Nice. Right now I've got it on the moist section, not dry. Uh, so I'm gonna cut. Release. Oh, look at that. I love that. Oh, yes, we are in business. Got it nicely cut, nicely sealed for longevity. I can pack these in my fridge and I can do, you know, pop them out as I want. So I'm going to do a fast track for you guys now. I'm going to do everything and then at the end, we'll do a quick review.
can see I have vacuum packed the entire Aberdeen Angus sirloin um, and I've managed to get around 15 steaks as you see I managed to get about 15 steaks um, in the effort of me trying to show everything some of them slightly oxidized like some of the ones at the bottom especially the ones that were kind of a bit more wet um, but yeah um, that's fine I've managed to get so what's that three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, oh, 16. I've got 16, uh, which is pretty awesome. Typically I end up, I've, I've made a big saving buying the big pack and just vacuum packing them myself. So technically right here, we have at least a minimum of, you know, 10 episodes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. I'm gonna freeze these up so they can last. Um, in fact, I was reading on the instruction manuals and they say typically, um, no, if you haven't vacuum packed meat, it should be able to last three to five months. If you have in the freezer, if you have vacuum packed it, it should be able to last upwards of 12 months. Um, I'm going to be using these for my episodes, so it's not going to last 12 months, but nevertheless, there's a value in that. Again, um, also kind of give an update on the vacuum pack. I think it's pretty awesome. There is a state where it, it turns itself off um, after like four or five um about four of, after you've done four it auto turns itself off so you just prevent itself from getting damaged and then it, you have to wait for about 15 minutes a little bit annoying when you're doing so many but nevertheless it, at least you know the product's going to last a bit long um so that's a thumbs up on the vac pack the bags pretty much right now i had just like a tiny bit of roll left but luckily i bought some backup rolls i'll add that to the description in the video uh direct link to amazon for that as well as my knife set I mean, I went through this stuff like a bus. I, I could not have done it without those. So that's another plus. Um, and the meat itself, I'll add the link and the image of exactly what part the sirloin, the sirloin comes from in regards to the, 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 the cow itself. It'd be awesome for me to just kind of share more information about different cuts of meat and where exactly they fall on the animal. Anyway, hopefully you guys love this. Again, it's a different take, but I thought I'll share it with you guys. Um, it's a special in the sense that it's not me cooking, but it's a, it's processes. So hopefully you guys love it. Stay hooked because the next one is going to be me cooking.